They are quickly becoming essential tools of the teaching trade. Simulators like those here in the Redbird STEM lab, where free courses for young students bring theory and aeronautical principles to life. Now then, we're actually using the airplane for something other than just something that's just like the really the coolest thing ever, right? For sisters Aaron and Alyssa Carpenter, it's an opportunity to exercise more than their minds. It engages their senses. These simulators provide immediate and dynamic impact on how things like speed and weight and temperature impact things like lift and engine performance. All week long, they can come in and take everything from intro to flight to advanced flight planning and, and aviation weather and it's all tailored around the idea that we can use aviation to introduce STEM topics and get kids involved in the more technical disciplines and aviation is a great tool to do that. Last year I crashed and burned a lot. I didn't crash and burn though and I was proud of myself. And you don't have to look far to see a great number of young people who love the challenge. It's a relatively low cost way to set fire to the dream of flight. So much more fun. Is it? Why do you say that? Because usually, like say you're at a school and you, you learn this, all you're doing is papers. You're not learning like on a simulator like here. And no doubt what works here can and will work elsewhere. It's a great experience to see kids really get it when they work through the math or work through the problem that they're working on and go out and fly it in the sim and they actually get it. It's a, it's a great experience for sure. Paul Moses, AOPA Live.